and fans, this is Brian Lowry here with you as always. My special guest for today. That's Jay Savage. Thank you, Brian Lowry, the voice of AWOL. It's a pleasure to be here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon in South Lyon at the South Lyon High School, the Lions Den, the official home of AWOL Action Wrestling. That's right, fans. SP Ladocious making his way to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this time I'd like to introduce our referee for this match. Referee Abe Spencer checking in. Dave Spencer, one of the newest refs to AWOL and by far one of the most unintimidated refs that I've ever seen. He doesn't take any garbage from any of these massive AWOL wrestlers. What, what is this? Thorky O'Sullivan, we haven't seen him open up a card. Uh, sure, this is the dark match, but uh, the last time I saw Gorky O'Sullivan, he was getting thrown around by one deadly Dan. I think his career has made leaps and strides to that event. What do you say, Jack? Uh, I say he absolutely has a messed up heritage. I mean, come on, tell me somebody didn't pee in that gene pool. <laughs> oh, my gosh, look at that guy. Look at the. Uh, this would be a good time for a sensor block. Uh, I think you know uh, where we'd put it, fans. Making his way into the... Uh, Gorky landed on his head, but... What, the fans still love him. He's the only wrestler I know that brings himself in the hard way. Look at the AWOL fans in attendance that afternoon. This is incredible. They are enjoying all the AWOL action. That's right, a record of attendance of almost 180 people. Abe Spencer now checking. What is he checking? Oh, he got an eyeful of something he didn't like. Stand back. That guy's going to spit at you. You know what I'm saying? This is awesome AWOL action. I think it's incredible. Gorky's an incredible athlete. It's going to be a good show, folks. The match is underway. What's this? Number one, one half tag team champions. One half tag team champions, referring to the belt that he stole from the Greek assassin of Menace yeah. to Society. Well, if I'm going to be the color commentator, uh, voice of AWOL, Brian Lowry, I'm going to have to call it like I see it. Nah, that guy says he's number one, but I think he's pulling number one. Oh, oh, but it's a big push. Dropkick now, Gorky starting things off immediately. Not one to lose in front of a roaring crowd. Look at this, kicking SP Elidocious down. Reclining on the ropes. What's this, some kind of drop? No! Blocked into a clothesline. Gorky is laid out. Listen to the fans boo. Look at the beak on that guy. He could lead you to Fruit Loops. Is he related to the dirge or something? What's up? Oh my gosh, it's a big kick. He's bringing him down the hard way. Oh, like a front face DDT. The Mexican specialist in amazing moves. Ooh, a two count there. That's a close one. Referee Abe Spencer, hot on the draw. What is, what is this? Gorky O'Sullivan now. The hair coming off from Chernobyl. He did lose some hair uh, due to that nuclear meltdown. Of course, that could have been the uh, urine in the gene pool, which you were talking about, Jay. That's right. I think there's some uh, serious inbreeding going on in the manufacturing of someone like Gorky O. Oh, bringing himself in a little lighter this time. Still fast on the action. He's an incredible drop kicker. That Mexican stomach, he's going to be hurt in the breadbasket if you ask me. That's right, Gorky now off the big clothesline. Gorky is out. What is this? SP wasting no time. Here's the cover. You're not going to pin a man with a clothesline in AWOL. But I, I guess you can. SP Elidocious just pulling the upset on Gorky O'Sullivan now. Uh, you stand, or should I say, you sit corrected, Mr. Lowry. That is, in fact, the pin. Let's go for the official word. Look at the fans respond to the crazy Mexicans. Super Gale Fregico now, his uh, ever-loving tag team partner, celebrating wildly. Let's go to the next match. Who's this coming out here, folks? I don't know who it is. It's, it is, it, it is none other than Pipe Wrench. This is incredible. The, his music is a blaring. The fans are behind him. He's got a buddy out there. It, it, this is great. Your referee for this match once again, Abe Spencer, making his way to the ring. I, I think we're going to get ready to cut back to Brian. And ladies and gentlemen, shortly here, as I understand, the, the Dirge, in fact, has a few words to say. Uh, hold on one second, Dirge.
fans, it is in fact Deadly Dan, and he is taunting the crowd. One of the bigger worries about Dan is not only may he yell at you, but he might spit on you while he's talking. That's one of the things that factors into the AWOL crowd participation. Get the mic away from me. Oh, that's telling him, Pipe French. As promised, fans, we have him here, right here at the commentator's table. He's coming down against Thomas Hayden. He is the dirge. He's the essence of effervescence. He is lighter than air. He is only not wearing a title because he says it would weigh him down. Dirge, what do you have to say this afternoon? First of all, if there's any question for all the... Uh fans out there as to what happened when Prana and I went back to the locker room after our match. I'm sorry to tell you, Prana fans, all two of you, that I stomped his guts in and I stomped his head in. And then I went out and I trashed his car. And that's all I have to say about that. And as for this match right here, this is amazing. I mean, look at that. I've never seen garbage wrestle garbage before. This is truly hilarious. Dirge, I'm going to have to agree with you just because I'm afraid of you. Brian, what do you have to say? Yeah, definitely, Dirge. Uh, of course, stole the uh, Led Zeppelin airbrushed leather jacket from Pipe Wrench. Uh, at one time, lost it to him in a ladder match, one of the all-time AWOL classics. And, of course, you did wrestle Deadly Dan on separate occasions. Uh, Dirge, let me, uh, let me hear your pick. Who's going to win this bout? Let's say... Uh... Down on these two wrestlers, of course. Uh, I don't blame you. Uh, being a uh, somewhat negative propane, part of the Anti American Alliance dirge, of course. At the last card, you were kicked out of the Anti American Alliance. Uh, I sense some, uh, some hard feelings uh, towards Deadly Dan and, of course, your ex partner, uh, Pipe Wrench, who the fans do love, by the way. Hey, shut up. I'm going to have to agree with the dirge just because, once again, I am afraid of him. And back into the ring, it is incredible. You all actually, Deadly Dan has Pipe Wrench in some kind of reverse toot in common there. And Pipe Wrench is going to have to clear some cobwebs and get his act together if he, if he plans on walking home. The new champ, what's going on here? Oh my gosh, drops him down right on his back. That's incredible. Brian, this match is it's so fast you can barely call it. Brian, isn't this not incredible? You all actually second him. Definitely, definitely. Oh, and a big slam. You just saw there. Had he not straightened out his... Oh, that would have been a broken neck for sure. What is this? Did, he's not through, he said. Calling him a piece of trash. Dirge, what do you have to say about that? I have nothing more to say to you guys. The Dirge now, silent, at sitting there ringside. What is his purpose? Uh, you're not planning some kind of bizarre run. Wait, look at this, no one. No, uh, he only a two count. And yes, once again, Dirge, thank you for your comments, and, and you're okay, just don't hit me. All right, and man, Deadly Dan, he's gonna lock up with Pipe Wrench. What's his Pipe Wrench going for the big slam. Oh my gosh, sell, sell, sell. Dan is down. That's incredible. Pipe Wrench, he's, he's gathering his wind. What's gonna happen? He's gonna come off the ropes. Oh my gosh, that's one of them Hooney Caroonies, isn't it, Brian? And of course, landing right on his head. The, the, the thigh strength, uh, Pipe Wrench, uh, like, like, let me see that. 
Viper just hit me, me with that move a few times before. You think Dan would want to watch out for that? What a, I mean, paying attention or something. Definitely, thank you, Dirge, your comments, always welcome. Deadly Dan now rolling over on his stomach, assuming the defensive stance. Pipe wrench now shoving around Abe Spencer. Uh, throws him down. That would be a DQ in any other league. He's unconscious, though. He cannot call for the bell. Dirge, what is happening? Sit down. Yeah, well, these AWOL refs, they don't mind getting shoved around a little bit. Once again, I agree with you, Dirge. Just please don't hit me. That's a double chair smash in the middle of the ring. And Dan, and, and the ref is down. He doesn't see any of this. What's Dan going to do? Oh. Oh. No. Oh. That's got to hurt. He hit him in the little pipe wrench there. Dan, smiling for the fans. Oh, man, does that guy get some air on that leg drop. Holy Hulk Hogan. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh, fans, that's it. One, two, three, and that was incredible. Pipe wrench pinned after the leg drop. Let's go for the official word. What is this now? Draping that black shroud over Pipe Wrench. What Pipe Wrench is going to take any of that? Dra oh, profane knocks him, but throws him down. What is this? Going after the punching pole like now punching him in the head. What's this? What was that? Pop or something? Gator throws him down the shroud, choking him out, choking the life out of Pipe Wrench. Get in there and save your partner, dude. Hey, which of these guys do you think I should beat up next? I am the deadliest man in the world. If that's not a good cue, Dirge, I don't know. I think Deadly Dan answered uh, your question. What do you say? Would you go after the City of Livonia title? Then, of course, uh, you did lose the Deadly Dan at the next card. Uh, I suppose that puts you in the number one contender spot for that title. Uh, just lose it. But look at this now. We'll get to that in just a moment. Deadly Dan fleeing for his life. Oh, my gosh, fans, once again, please. Oh, 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 that's going to hurt in the morning. Fans, once again, please keep your hands inside your vehicles. This is no theme park. This is Deadly Dan. He'll spill out into the crowd. He'll spit on you. He'll throw pop on you. Dan, it's, it's, it's right there. Oh, yeah, that guy, he gets worked up. Once again, the AWOL refs, they're hot on the scene. And this is incredible. Pipe wrench, he's still getting up from this. I'll tell you what, I think he broke something. Ghostface Killer now making his way to the ring. What? Speaking of that, what? Okay, I got my wallet. Wait. What's this bizarre, uh, if anything, to describe his entrance music? He seems disoriented. The Ghostface Killer waits for his opponent. Well, this should be a good match. Look at that girl with purple hair in the, uh, in the audience. Psychopatico, some say related to Rey Mysterio Jr., perhaps even Mantar. What do you say, Jim? Uh, I, I would have to refer to, to Chris Paul. He's our Mexican contingency as far as our commentating. He is, in fact, he knows these moves that these guys do. Half of them I can't even pronounce. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the times, but these guys are incredible. Oh, big clothesline, jacked as soon as he walks into the ring. Psychopatico bringing a garbage can full of stuff. What's this now? Big kick to the gut, setting him up. What is this? No! I, I want uh, Conan give LaParca a, a uh, power bomb on the floor like that. Oh, a nasty chair shot from the Ghostface Killer. Oh, the, the, wash, the watch out for the water sign. Oh, he hits himself over the head. This is wild AWOL action. This ghost face killer, crazy, crazy now, picking up Psychopatico, got him in some kind of front face hold. But what is this now, backing him up, big whip into the ropes, clothesline, takes him off his feet, and a big elbow drop. Jay, where did we get these idiots from? 
they're insane. It's no wonder they found their way to AWOL. We're like a beacon for the insane wrestlers in local areas. Everybody comes to us. The grungiest of the grunge, the most terrifying of the terrifying. We try to wave them off. We don't try to attract this kind of crowd, but we can't keep them away. They're incredible. Psychopatico now, big leg drop. What is that, some kind of Mexican whip? Picking them up, drops them. Listen to the bump. Chris, take over. What is going to happen here? Well, let's see. He's going into the garbage can. Oh, he hits him with some nunchucks. Oh, it's a hockey stick. Where, where did this Mexican get a hockey stick from? I can't believe this AWOL action. He's got a, oh, a, a piece of side of wood. This, this is wild. It is. Well, I haven't seen anything this wild since Los Palionos in 1994. Triple mania, baby. Oh, my God. Psycho Patigo now pulling on the ref. What? Listen to those shots with the cookie tray. Those face killer is incensed. Pulling Psycho Patigo out. What is this? Picks him up high. Watch out for the steps. Oh my God. What is this now? Ghost face killer. Pacing climbs the steps. What is he? No. This is incredible. Look for this. Oh, oh my God. I, that's the circular buzzsaw. I cannot believe it. The circular buzzsaw. I saw him pull this off in Mexico City three years ago to finish off his opponent. This is wild. He's going for another one. Oh, and he hits the floor. This is crazy. Oh my God. Psycho Patico now with uh, a super soaker, squirting the crowd in attendance, throwing the ghost face killer back into the ring. What is this? Russian whip into the post. Oh, a big knee into the head. Ghost face killer is down. Psycho Patico going for the cover now. Ghost face with a weak kick out. Two and seven eights, I'd say that was. Either way, a close call. Absolutely, Abe Spencer on the job. Oh my gosh, that was some kind of Pearl River crack the back of your neck maneuver there. I don't know what's going on with that. That Seco Patico, he's got to be feeling this. He'll be feeling it all the way into tomorrow. And this is kind of lazy cover. One, two, and Seco Patico rolls off the cover. Abe Spencer, quick on the draw and all the way. Psycho Patico now, I don't realize what getting up, uh, what, what benefit that will hold for either man. But what's this? Those, oh, listen to the, 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 the thud as he hits the hardwood. Fans, that's a hardwood floor. Wait, what's, oh my God. Listen, I can't believe that. That's the that's the spin leg chair shot. He keeps that's that's the finishing maneuver. That's that's it, folks. He's rolling him up. One, two, three. Winner of the match, Psycho Patico. Who no dos trace in any language. The three count means victory. No hablo espanol, amigo. Let's get ready for our next match, fans. That was incredible. What, what's Ghostface Killer laid out the ref? Some threatening fans. He has a point here. He is the Dirge. The Dirge, fans. This should be a great match. The Dirge scheduled to wrestle the Piranha. What is this now? The Dirge. The Dirge. Maybe. Uh, there he is. Rammy. Look at this. Is that the is that some fan? That's the piranha. I guess the match is starting, fans. Look at this slug pass now. Watch out! Oh my god! There were at least five rows of chairs. Listen to the crowd go nuts! It's a hazard just to be an AWOL fan, folks. Piranha and Dirge, longtime Wiley Ring veterans, throwing Dirge in the hard way, but Dirge kips up quick and piranha in over the top rope. And a clothesline to bring things off, fans. This thing's going to be action from beginning to end. There's now. Look at this. No love loss. Takedown. There's the bell. I guess that was the official start of the match, fans. I think when he brought the piranha down the hard way back there, I, I could feel the ring move right there. I think I think my water cup almost spilled over. Just like in Jurassic What? Oh! Speaking of, drops him down. The dirt is going to be a fossil if this continues. This is incredible. The fans getting behind the piranha. They love this. I heard somebody chant Grizzly Adams on the way out. He's got that nature look, and it's going for him. What's this going to be, fans? The dirt says no, not this time. Oh, my gosh. It's a roll-up combination. One, two. Oh, that's a close one. Dirt's now quick on the attack. Won't even let the slower piranha get to his feet. He's like a tick in there, like a flea. What's this? Oh, my God. Perfect. Spinning leg drop. Listen to the crowd. They love him. I don't even hear anybody chaining Hunter Hurst. <laughs> the dirt. 
is the premier high flyer of AWOL. Ooh, a big stop there to Piranha Small of his back, but Piranha Wiley turns to face his foe. And Dirge considers himself what he calls the essence of effervescence. He is lighter than air. He's going to spin him around. Close line, or, oh, big whip into the ropes. What's going on here? He's going to the second rope. One, two, three. You can hear the fans chant. Oh, he sends him down head first into the mat, Brian. That's incredible. I thought it was going to be a monkey flip. So did Dirge until he got his face plastered into the mat. What is this now? Standing him up, collar and elbow tie up. A sleeper. The Dirge widely sneaks behind there. It could be a choke. Referee Abe Spencer gets in there. Piranha being dragged down to his feet. What a good time to plug our AWOL Ann Arbor contingency hotline. Fans, if you haven't called it yet, please do so. Keep up uh, with all the AWOL news. That is 1-313-332-9446. Once again, 332-9446. And that could be the last number the Prana ever hears. No! His arm is up at the three count. I had written him off, fans. I started reading the Ann Arbor number. Prana now, pummeling the dirge, angry. What is this? Powerbomb. That's incredible. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe he even did that. Piranha has definitely got the way of this crowd. He, he's got him behind him this afternoon. He's got the crowd going. He's got the fans loving him. Oh, big drop kick. The dirge is out on his feet. What's happening here? Oh, my gosh. He looks just like Andre the Giant being snagged up in them ropes. That's incredible. The Piranha is going to be relentless now. He's going to chew a hole in the dirge if the dirge doesn't get out of there fast. And I mean fast, man. The dirge, if anybody can slip out of those knots using their what? Kick! He kicks the piranha back to buy himself some time. Our referee, our fine referees there, Abe Spencer, of course, trying to break the dirge out. He's got his arm stuck in there. Watch out. Oh, that could have hurt. Piranha coming in for the kill. Oh, man. Right in the bread basket. He could have chucked. The dirge now with a splash. Doesn't go for the pin, though. What is, oh my god, a reverse leg drop. I didn't even see him turn around. The dirge is lighter than air. He's like a, he's like a tick. He's like a flea. He'll be anything uh, you want him to be, I'll tell you. What's DDT now? That'll slow down the dirge. That last move, Brian, was the official double leg dirge drop, as it's been told to me by the dirge himself, after he smacked me in the face because I didn't pronounce it right the first time. Once again, the double dirge light drop. That's incredible. The dirge lighter than the air. Effort, essence of effervescence as he considers himself. And once again, fans at AWOL Hotline, 313-332-9446. Option number three is always she spoke with Cheryl. Oh, he takes him over belly first. The piranha's going to be feeling that one. He's down on the mat and rolling around like the dirge. What's going to happen here? Both combatants out. The dirge now trying to get some semblance of fan support. I don't think he's going to get it. The fans in South Line are into the prom. The dirge now, what? Double count. What is this, a kip up? No! Oh, he falls back with a splash and a cover. Abe Spencer gets in there, almost a three count. What, what fuels this piranha? What, or who did he? What, who said he looked like Helmsley? Oh, the pedigree! We can't uh, say due to copyright infringements what he's talking about, but the fans, look at this. Kissing the biceps, it looks like, a la Paul Orndorff, early 1980s. The Dirge, what do you have to say, Jay? The Dirge is incredible. I heard some family history there. The Dirge so light on his feet that when he was seven years old, fell out of a four-story window and took ten minutes to hit the ground. Isn't that incredible? He's like a wife or thin, you know what I'm saying? This guy is in the gym from the a.m. to the p.m., working out with the big wigs. A big chair to Piranha there. This AWOL action is taken outside in the fans. Oh, no. What? What is that? The, the Dirge breaking the sunglasses of some... Uh, some young fan who paid three dollars. That's right, fans believe it. Three dollars. A jab into the ribs with the hockey stick. Psychopathicos garbage scattered all over the place. We can't afford cleanup crews. Fans, we're AWOL. What is this prana now? Listen to the screams of Abe Spencer. Well, now he's being kicked. Abe Spencer being spanked like a bad monkey out on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. This is awful. We've seen this one back out at the Hell Freezes Over card between the garbage guy. Insane attention, that's right, Caucasian Kamal, I don't believe it. Abe Spencer knocked out, trying to sit up, calling for the bell. Fans, I can only assume this has been some kind of double DQ. It will not stop here. Look at Abe Spencer, he's, he's confused. He almost fell right in his head. That's Jeremy, our other zebra. He, he's in on the action, too. Abe Spencer calling for the double bell. This action is going to skew through the fans once again. And, and back out into the locker room, ladies and gentlemen. This is just not going to end here. I, I, I'll bet you we're going to see another match between these two in a cage. Oh, that would be something. And, of course, what is this? Oh, into the divider. Piranha, look at this. The, the hatred. 
The fans respecting the privacy. That is the locker room. That ends the match. I don't believe it. Listen to the listen to the roar. Listen to the approval that the Prana and the Dirge are receiving. Sensational Steve. I don't believe it. His first big interview of the night. Listen to the roars, the cheers, some booze. Sensational Steve making his way to the ring with the AWOL World Title. These fans, they're on their feet for Steve. They love Steve. Even though Steve has kind of almost turned his back on the fans of late, there's a little question about where Steve really is late. Look at that rockabilly fella. He is a devoted AWOL fan. He was at the incredible raw card with the sensational Steve sign. Is Steve going to tell the fans that he's had a hard time lately and he loves them? Or is this going to be something else? What's going to happen here? This is a pivotal point in Sensational Steve's career, Brian. Definitely. Let's listen to what he has to say. He is not. This is going to be incredible, folks. He's introducing Mafia X. Is Steve endorsing Mafia X at this point? Jerome Do It Pruitt, the Roughneck, and the Shaka? Is that what's going on here? Is he endorsing Mafia X? I can't believe it. Steve has definitely turned his back on the fans. He's a heel. Oh my gosh. You mark.
Please do not try this at an AWOL card. This is not endorsed by AWOL in any capacity. This is this is against our insurance policy. Please, not at any time the wrestler calls you out. Get up for the match. Looks like a setup, Brian. Oh my gosh, I've seen this before. They are taking him out the old Irish way. This is awesome. Mafia X now stomping Andy Praytel. What is this? Some kind of like a couch dance. I think I paid ten dollars for that in Windsor. Oh, no comment there, folks. The AWOL title. Steve doesn't even care about it. Oh, what did he put in his eyes? It's that sensationally Steve hair care product. Oh my gosh, I'm sure that does wonders for your hair, but it can't be too good for your eyes. Andy Braytel now, fans, that is why we encourage people, they call you out, it's a trick. They're like a pack of hyenas, as somebody would say. But Andy, he's turning things around here. Mr. Fight Night, showing what he's made of. Oh, that's what he's made of. THT, I hear that stands for Teenage Heart Drop, but Oh man, a massive power bomb, then a leg drop. Look at Steve working in fluid motion with Mafia X. If you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think this was a big surprise. I think they've been working together for a while. They just they wouldn't mesh this well if, if there hadn't been some behind the scenes workings going on over the last few months. It's the hick! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's the hick. The only last American icon, the last true red, white, and blue, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of last in lines, Steve there, one of the last traditional wrestlers to wrestle barefoot, the Hick, he's squinting. He can see what's going on at the end of the aisle. He's going to tear down an assist, Mr. Fight Night. The fans loving the USA chant from the Hick. There's our Zebra Jair. Quick on the mark. It's crazy while action, folks. the mic, Andy Fratel calling out Jerome Pruitt to a street fight later on the card. Uh, our matchmakers will be working diligently on that one. The urinals of South Florida. What? There's the silverfish. Bizarre, bizarre individual. We don't know much about the silverfish, only that uh, a silverfish is in, indeed a millipede-like uh, insect which lives in urinals and eats urinal cakes. Uh, they're, they're quite scary, actually. You don't want to uh, be taking out the old hose uh, around any of those things. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hold it for the rest of the afternoon until I get home just in case. If this is the silverfish that crawled out of the urinals of South Lyon, which he claims to be from, I'll just wait. Thanks just the same. Listen to the entrance music. The silverfish, bizarre as can be. Is that ABBA playing? ABBA always brings the fans to their feet, ladies and gentlemen. They have stood fast over the decades. One of the premier leaders in the industry of rock and roll. Look at this shorty the pimp leading slutty Buddy Bordello. What a spectacle. What? Bacardi? What is... What fans, we don't allow alcohol in this... Oh, oh uh, I... I 
We, we can't even go there. We can't even go there. The shorty, the pimp, some bad cross between Howard Stern and Danny DeVito. I don't know what's going on out there, but I don't like the looks of this. I'll tell you, this guy can't be too on the level. It does not look good for the silver fish. Well, threatening to hit a fan. Fans, we, we encourage freedom of speech and all that, but you don't want to make guys like this angry. Wiping his feet on the apron. What disrespect, slutty buddy Bordello. Taking off the robe. Look at that physique. Look in the bot on this guy. He's incredible. He's been working out. He's been in the gym since earlier. Look, look at Shorty the Pip going at the fans here. The fans are the most awesome fans ever, AWOL fans. They're incredible fans. They're, they're, they're dedicated to AWOL. They're great. AWOL certainly appreciates them. And the beginning of the match, it's a scuffle for control and Slutty Buddy dominating right off the bat, folks. I don't believe it. The title is still in the ring there. Look at it laying there. What is it? The silverfish now going nuts. What, choking the man in the ropes. That's not allowed. Abe Spencer, get in there. What's this? Uh, taking off the sunglasses. This guy looks like he just woke up after a hard night. What? What is going on right there? I think what I'm talking about. No comment. No comment at all. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we don't subscribe to this type of insanity normally. This was this is an incredible card right here. These guys are some of the cheapest working, hardest working athletes in the state. Uh, we acquire them by the most incredible means. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's right. Stop below the belt. Don't you dare, Abe Spencer says to the Silverfish. What? Thumb to the eye by Slutty Buddy, the wily veteran. Silverfish throwing kicks. Oh, and a big punch to the ear and knocks him out. What is this? He's going to put him in some kind of... Look! What, what, what kind of spectacle? Listen to the crowd. They love it. Oh, and he blocks a DDT, but he ended up, it looks like, taking a bite out of his own hand. What's this? The two count. The slutty Buddy nonchalant cover. That doesn't pay. That was a sloppy cover. We're going to have to go with there. But the Silverfish, he's hard to keep a handle on. I hear he wears the mask because he was disfigured in a horrible disco accident back in the early 70s. Uh, I, I'm not even going to go there. I, I'm not going to talk about the insecurities of these wrestlers, but th they're just incredible. The Silverfish taking the action back down to the mat. He's looking for crowd approval. He's throwing off his shoes. Those are some expensive skeeters there. That's right. What is this now? Around the neck, drops the Silverfish down a heart. The Silverfish now laid out the Converse shoes, the zebra print boxers. What's this? Oh, look! His, his arm's staying up! Maybe rigor mortis perhaps setting in, but no, the Silverfish is up. Big clothesline into the corner. But what's this? The boy toy. Oh, what dirty tactics. What is this now? Abe Spencer checking the ropes? I don't believe it! Taking advantage! Fans, uh, you just do not lay your hand. Oh! oh. Shorty's getting an action point. Fans, you don't leave, you don't put your hands on an AWOL ref, let alone an AWOL wrestler. Shorty taking this a little too far. Oh my gosh, that's gonna hurt. He's gonna knock out a vertebrae doing something like that. What is this? A, a sausage? Oh, did you hear the smack? I don't believe it. The referee now coming around. What's throwing it out to the into the crowd? He took that sausage out of his shorts and pasted him in the head with it for the three count, fans. I cannot believe it. Uh, we, we don't condone this type of action. Listen to the, the fans are booing. There's somebody crying in the front row there. They're so upset. This is incredible. The fans are not behind these two. Not one to forget the Bacardi. Toasting to the crowd. Drinking the rest of it. Look at the physique. Look at the paleness. Punching Polak now, making his way into the ring, rolling in like a dead cod. Look at him. He doesn't care. I don't think he knows where he is. This guy has got eyes that shoot right through you, man. Punching Polak, not being cooperative with our announcer in there. I don't believe it, fans. You, you could be fired at any job in America for acting like that to any of the senior officers of any company you work for, much less AWOL. 
the white weirdo coming down to the ring. His opponent, look at the eyes open, shooting a glare right through the weirdo, which doesn't take much. He is paper thin, but wily. This weirdo, he's built like a brick poop house. He's incredible. He's going to come in here, and he's going to change the course of the match altogether. Fans, but hold on. Let's go back to the ring announcer for the stipulation. Dress fans, this, this is what they wanted. Fans, that's why we encourage you to write in to the hotline. This was an idea wrote to us by one of the fans. We want to see the loser wear a dress. And, and you know what, fans? We're going to put you into the match. We're going to make you involved. We're going to take your suggestions and we're going to use them. That's crazy AWOL action. Nowhere else. You couldn't write to the WWF and say that guy's got to wear a dress. It just wouldn't happen. Oh, big push down by the Polak. He's going to put the white weirdo down on the mat, but not for long. Test of strength coming up. What is this now? Mocking the height. A drop into his knees. The Polak strong as the white weirdo trying to take advantage. Put the, the punch of Polak on his feet now. Oh, kicks him down. Oh, and a big elbow drop, fans. That looked like a hit. This could be a shoot. What is this? Speaking of shoe, taking off the shoes, throwing him into the crowd. What is this now? Picks him up. Some kind of big pile driver, chopped to the thighs. Oh, a flip. Oh, my. Close to a Frankenstein, or the white weirdo. Has been practicing, has he not? That is awesome, and yes, he has. And fans, if you will make note, we don't send people home shoeless. Nine out of ten wrestlers in AWOL end up throwing their footwear into the crowd for some reason. It's, it's like the Bermuda Darn Triangle out there in the fan section. I don't know where the shoes are going. Yeah, fans, if you do find uh, any shoes at our cards, send them to the uh, aforementioned P.O. Box. Flying! It was some kind of knee axiom. What is this now? The way weirdo uh, rummaging around under the ring. It's, it's a wings record. Oh, and hit, you could hear the impact of that, fans. What is this? Where is the weirdo now? Oh, did you hear that? Guitar shot to the head. It sounded like somebody uh, hitting a watermelon with, uh, I don't know what, something hollow anyway. Although I'm not sure which one was the watermelon and which was the hollow item. The Polak's head could be as hollow as the guitar. That sound made me sick, Jay. Yeah. It was incredible. That's one for the honky books, I'll tell you. That was a remarkable guitar shot. The White Weirdo taking control of the match from then on. What's this going to be? Holy razors, you know what I'm talking about. That was incredible. He threw the Polak down, and I don't think the Polak's going to get up from that one, ladies and gentlemen. I think he can get a free count right here. Pulling him up the hard way by the big goat. He's got him by the, well, by the goat, but what's this going to be? He spins him around. Oh, a backbreaker! Oh, you can look at the look on the punch of Polak's face. He's absolutely smashed by that. At the Polak, and he is a big guy. He's no, uh, he's no shrimp. I'm telling you, maybe about six three, six four, uh, coming to within at least sixty pounds, two hundred pounds. And now, uh, what is this now? Black pulls the leg out from under him. Uh, that's that's it. That's the three count. I believe this was the Polak's first victory. That's incredible. That's awesome. And, and we're seeing it here live this afternoon. This is amazing AWOL action. The Polak in his last few matches has been making the ref count down. Three, two, one for the pin. Go figure. He's Polish. I'm not quite sure what it means, but you do the math, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, it's a pinfall here this afternoon. Abe Spencer, your ref as always, and we know what's going to happen here. It's time for the weirdo to don the dress and be the chief date for the afternoon. Trying it on. It seems to fit. Listen to the crowd laugh at the man. Laughing. Oh, they're cheering. They like the weirdo in a dress. I mean, it does bring out his hair. I don't know. It's it's not a good look, fans. Brian, who doesn't like a weirdo in a dress every once in a while? You know, I oh, it, this one's gonna carry back to the locker rooms too, fans. This a wall match always goes beyond the ring. It's it's just incredible. There's so much pent up frustration, so much anger between these two. The humiliation of wearing the dress. Go. Oh, he's up against their hardcore. Weighing in at 246 pounds, standing 6'4", he's from Gangsville. Give it up for Amy, the Gangsta. 
six foot four, two forty six. I thought he was calling out the darn Warriors. This is awesome. I've seen AC wrestle before. He's incredible. He he's been he's been watching the back of Propane, but uh, some say uh, he's watching something else. He's watching the title feature for Propane. They say there's some uh, non camaraderie between these two, but uh, oh, what's he gonna do now? Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Knocking down Dr. Drew Haggerty, one of our amazing security men. Drew's gonna have to end up going back for stitches. I just know it. Fans, this is awesome. Super Califragico, thank you for joining us. Do you have any words to say this afternoon about AC Gangster? And, and oh, hold on, here's Brian Lowry. Nick Frieda, I remember when S.P. Aladocious wrestled him, and he tricked me and clotheslined me and got the pin. So, Nick Frieda, I hope you lose this match. Uh, thank you. I hope I wasn't too unprofessional, and I would appreciate it if all you fans at ringside would uh, appreciate yourselves uh, to relieve yourselves long enough so that I can talk. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Super Califragico. And Ace, this guy, Nick Frieda, coming down to Mbop. The only thing he's gonna eat about when he gets back to the hotel. What's going on here? I know what we can call you. What are you doing? He's spitting on the American flag. You need support. It's happening. Uh oh. These are some harsh words from Nick. He doesn't want to be called freedom. Oh, he's mocking Hogan, who said something about... I'm not even going to repeat that. This is incredible. Brian Lowry coming back to the table. Brian, thank you for coming back. Don't ever strain me again. This is incredible AWOL action. But take it, Brian. I'm just, I, I don't know what to say. Well, thank you, Jay. Look at this match. Uh, of course, I was brought out to uh, say hi to my adoring fans. Well, actually, uh, who didn't know me at the time, they cheered. Uh, I, I'd like to thank them a lot for that. Of course, uh, AC Gangsta now. Look at this. Put in the... Uh, that Nick Freedom spinning on the American flag. Insists on me called Nick Freak Show now. Uh, I have no problem with that. Where'd that... Uh, where, where'd uh, where'd uh, Super Califragico go for Christ? What, where's, my, where's my wallet? Hold on, I gotta go find that guy. I knew something like this would happen if you let those crazy Mexicans in here. They are so unpredictable. If fans, if you didn't see that, that last move, that was an incredibly sloppy DDT, almost severing the head of AC Gangsta. Thankfully, his skull so thick endured the entire endeavor. This is remarkable AWOL action this afternoon. AC Gangsta, he's taking on Nick Freak Show now, as I understand it, who, in fact, I heard this on Spoke with Cheryl on option number three. Oh, wait, I'm gonna, I want to see this move. But it, oh, big kick to the mug. Send Nick down. One, two, hey, click on the draw. As I was saying, uh, Nick Freak Show was reported last month by the uh, Inhumane Society for Animals for spanking his monkey. In fact, he, he has a monkey and he was spanking it. He claimed it was a bad monkey. In, in, in public, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, and, and AWOL does not tolerate this, which is one of the reasons why he is in the doghouse with AWOL. Thanks, uh, Jay. I got back on my wallet back. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't counted my money, but there's uh, some pesos, some sand. Uh, Maybe some hot peppers on there, I'm telling you. These Mexicans are feisty. They were already out for the dark match. Look at this now. Big Boston Crab twisting, cracking the back. AC Gangsta, those three foot long legs of his. But look at this. Overpowers, hurls Nick Freak Show off of, him, uh, off of his hindquarters, his haunches, if you will. AC Gangsta now, rising to his feet. So propane. What is propane doing at ringside? And of course, you know what the last card, AC Gangsta turned on. Oh, and Abe Spencer goes down. Of course, so does Nick Freak Show. So I guess you take the good with the bad. What do you say, Jay? I think uh, him going down on anything would be bad, as far as I'm concerned. But propane out there, because wherever there is pain, there is propane. He's on the spot. This guy's. Oh my gosh, that's like a that's like a scorpion death drop there. One, two, three. And as far as I'm concerned, the official winner this afternoon here. Is Nick Freak Show crying? He got dropped on his head pretty hard. Look at this though. AC Gangsta pummeling, propane, and then rolling back and forth. Abe Spencer gets to his feet. Of course, uh, security being called in. Listen, I, the Abe Spencer is at the four count now, putting the count on these two combatants. 
Where's Nick Freesho? There he is in the ring, first on the first rope. Get off of there. <laughs> yeah, you're going to crack something. Ladies and gentlemen, in fact, Propane Duke in out here could just be a greeting. I understand this is the way most of his family reunions are. It runs in the family. They're just so into pain, they beat each other up. Nine, ten. That's a ten count, folks. And it looks like by count out, Nick Freak Show is going to get the win. It's incredible. I can't believe it. This is two wins in a row. This guy is bucking his way towards title contention. I would like to see a match between him and someone of, well, Deadly Dan or maybe um, Bad Moon Rising caliber. I think he's ready. Or, or Pipe Wrench, even. I I'd like to see the match. I think Nick Freak Show is ready for the big thing. Ouch! That looked like it hurt, though. And, oh, and the fans mocking the guy for hitting his nose on the way out. The, the fans just are not getting behind Nick Freak Show. What, what's going to be going on here? This is Drew. He's been hurt. Look at this. That the Games is crazy. I don't believe it. Thank God the fans signed forms saying we can't sue him. AC Gangsta are scratching Drew across the face. He's a tough kid. He'll get over it, though. Let's uh, go to the ring uh, for our next match. Fans, I, I know that guy. He's the shocker from Mafia X. If he's here, this means it is tag team action. It's time for Mafia X. No, wait. No, it's not going to be Mafia X, fans. It's going to be Jerome Do It Through It. It looks like Mafia X is going to be near his corner, in his corner, or hiding around the corner. You never know with Mafia X. They can be anywhere at once. It's, it's incredible. And it is Jerome Do It Through It. This is incredible. And I, as we know, he'll be taking on Mr. Fight Night, Andy Freitel. Oh, he, he's getting in Avery's face. Don't get in Avery's face. He's in flea market, man. He'll mess you right up. That's awesome. Jerome, do it through it. back, Jay. This should be an incredible match. Andy Praytail coming down to Crazy Train. Of course, by Ozzy Osbourne and uh, Dusty Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes, Randy Rhodes. I bet you didn't know they were related, did you? No, that's remarkable. But you know what? That's where you find out the information. At AWOL. Only AWOL has this kind of scoop. And you know, speaking of that, Brian, my first concert I ever went to was Metallica opening up for Ozzy Osbourne at Joe Louis Arena here in Detroit. Isn't that incredible? And here we are, so close away. It's like Bouja Day. Yeah, same here. Uh, my first uh, concert was uh, Janet Jackson. I was there with my parents, got dragged there. And uh, well, uh, well, besides, uh, okay, my first real concert uh, was Metallica uh, opening up for GNR, uh, if you can believe it. And uh, of course, the next date it was vice versa. Uh, they couldn't get it straight, but uh, I digress. Andy Praytel, look at the tattoos. Brandon Lee, Bruce, well, good kick. Bruce Lee, Brandon Lee on his back. It looks like maybe the Cuban flag. Uh, some tattoos. It looks like Mother Teresa on his arm. He's, he's ready for action. He's got Bruce Lee, Brian Lee, Chun Lee. He's got them all, man. He knows his stuff, dude. This guy is an incredible shoot fighter. He's going to be kicking some serious time this afternoon, as far as he's concerned. But I think Jerome Do It Through It has something else in mind. Oh my gosh! Right out in front of Rockabilly and his girlfriend, they're going at it. Is that somebody told me he had a tattoo of Stan Lee uh, on his thigh? Is that a, is that confirmed? Okay, yeah, I just heard it was Stan Lee, uh, Marvel Comics fame uh, tattoo, but. I digress. The, the build, both of these athletes, incredible. Uh, it could be lightweights in any division around the world. Uh, are not in AWOL, in fact. What is Jerome do it to a pro with the breathe, right, uh, the breathe Right strip? Look at this. Andy won't let him get in the ring, throwing kicks at him. Uh, and Andy is incredible. And during the pain of those tattoos, I, in fact, have a tattoo of Florence Henderson. I, I can't really show it to you in public. But I'll, I'll, I'll catch you later, Brian. Anyway, it, it, in fact, the tattoos, they hurt. It, 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 people say, oh, it doesn't hurt, but it really does. And I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm a big wimp, and, and I don't really like it. But speaking of wimps, um, there aren't any in the ring here, folks. This is just awesome me while action. It, it's, it's Jerome doing through it against Andy Freightdale. What's Jerome going to do here? Oh, my gosh, it's a power bomb. And man, that's a long way up. Big time. What's this? Picking him, rolling him over now. Off the ropes. Some kind of somersault. Oh, and he missed with a splash. Andy Braytel quick to get up. Pummeling now. Pummeling with those those loaded. Oh, look at this. An arm bar. I don't believe it. He could dislocate the arm. Going for the ropes. He makes it. Jerome, do it to it, Pruitt. Whoops. I mean, do it, Pruitt. Making it to the ropes. Don't say that, fans. He'll cold cock you. 
Brian, don't get that wrong twice, or he will be knocking on your door. I was hit by him for not pronouncing it the first time before the rotary card, and I will never make that mistake again. In fact, I was speaking to a gentleman this afternoon, or earlier on in the day, who considers himself somewhat of an outlaw. He was saying that he would not be surprised if he saw Jerome do it through it in the WWF light heavyweight division within the next couple years. But uh, Jerome, however, said that he would not go over until Vince considered a title in that division. Oh, that's a big DDT right out on the floor. That's going to spike him right in the nugget. Yeah, that'll take off an inch, uh, maybe a couple pounds or two. Look at this. Jerome staggering. Staggering, getting into the ring. He's got some kind of black pantyhose on top of his head. Don't know quite what that's for. There's Mafia X. Look at, were they shaking their heads? The camera member, get out of there. He values his life. Look at this now. On his hands and knees begging, he says, hold on, time out. Oh, and a cheap shot. Didn't he see that coming last time? Andy Pratel is still a rookie here in AWOL. Not up to the dirty tricks, the dirty deeds, if you will, of one Jerome do it through it. I spoke with Andy Pratel before the match, and he is, in fact, a fair fighter, a gentleman. Uh, he, he doesn't pull these kind of tactics. I think that's why he's not really looking for him. But in AWOL, as we know, it's anything to win in fans. You can't just let your guard down like that. You can't give your opponent the opportunity to damage in that kind of capacity, or they will take advantage of it. Oh, big clothesline sends him down, Brian. That's incredible. That clothesline hit him right in the jaw. Honestly, fans, if anybody...